Hi guys, so tomorrow is record store day and I actually printed off the entire list and I kind of wanted to go through it and see what I'm going to be picking up tomorrow, kind of spoil it I guess for you guys just by going through the list and picking everything. Then I'm going to bring you guys along with me to go to the record store, pick up my stuff, and then we're going to do a little haul and unboxing and looking at all the pressings and everything once I get back home. First thing that I see on here that I want is the Denzel Curry 7-inch picture disc. I did get the previous Record Store Day Denzel Curry release, so I think it's only fair that I pick that one up as well. The next thing I'm definitely getting is from Gorillaz. This is the G Collection, which says it's a box set, so I'm really curious to see what that is, if it's going to be a bunch of 7 inches or if it's 12 inches and if it's a real box set, how much money it's going to cost me because I've seen people get like box sets before and they are like hundreds of dollars. So I'm hoping that it's like 70 bucks max but I could be completely wrong. It doesn't even tell me how many LPs are in it or how many singles are in it. It just says it's a box set. So I'm really nervous about that one. Jaden, his Angels and Demons slash Driver's License cover on 12 inch vinyl. Meh, not the best. Has some shady stuff come out about him. Eh, yeah, but I do really like his song Comatose. So I think I might pick that up. Depends on the price, honestly. It is a 12 inch vinyl. Paris Use Me Deluxe EP. I do want to pick that up as well. They do have a Queen EP record, which I'm really intrigued by because it's Queen, Adam Lambert, and Freddie Mercury. And it's Live Around the World slash Love Me Like There's No Tomorrow. I would pick up Amy Winehouse if it wasn't remixes. I've never been a huge fan of remixes, but I love Amy Winehouse. But this right now is my list. We'll see if it changes and we'll see what I end up picking up when I wake up in the morning. The next day. Good morning, guys. It is officially record store day, so I'm gonna get ready really quick. It has been raining all day and it's super gross, so I think I'm gonna put on a hoodie, but I'm gonna wear this tank top under it just in case it gets super hot. And I'm gonna do very light makeup because, again, it's been really crap weather all day. Um, or all night, I guess. All week, literally. It's been horrible, to be honest. Basically, I thought the records were open at 10, they open at 11. And I was like, I'm not waiting six hours, so. Oh my god, that went right in my eye. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. We're pretty much ready. Go grab a jacket or a hoodie or something. So it's currently 7.21 a.m. I'm in the car, we're gonna go get some Starbucks and then we're gonna go to the record store and we're gonna start to wait. Grande sea salt caramel ice cold brew with cold foam. Um, can I get the ham and cheese croissant? And can I get two extra pumps of caramel in that please? And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You too. Breakfast acquired. Let's get this started. Just got here. There's only maybe five people in line, not even. So I'm not really gonna rush. But the first thing I'm going to do is type out my list onto my phone and then I'm gonna look up cover pictures. There you go, I'm just gonna fold up my little bag here. And throw it in my purse.
much because it was really busy. Like, I don't remember going to record store day that was this busy, and I don't know if it's because it was on the news or something, but it was crowded. And there was also a live band playing stuff, so I just didn't record in the outside tent. But only two of the things I wanted were inside, and the rest was outside, so I'm gonna talk about that when I get home. But I did decide to pick up the G Collection. I couldn't resist it once I saw it, and it was a little bit cheaper than I was expecting from his pricing before, so. I'm happy with it. I'm just now debating on if I should sell the other ones that I have or keep them and then just leave this one sealed and just never open it. I don't really know yet, um, so I'll be open to your opinions on that in the comments down below. But we're gonna get home, we're gonna wrap this up and show you guys everything that I got. I am back home now. I got changed, kind of relaxed and edited everything that you guys just saw really quickly because I want to get this up as soon as possible and I wanted to go over everything that I did pick up. We're going to get this out of the way first because I have been thinking about it a lot. So the G Collection from Gorillaz and even though I did buy it, I do have very mixed opinions on it. Do I think it's overpriced? Hell yes. Do I think that I paid too much for it? Yes, because at my record store it was $211.99. And from what research I have done, we're getting six Gorillaz albums, and it doesn't even have The Fall in it, which is my favorite Gorillaz album of all time. So you're only getting six albums in here, and I own every single album that's in here except for The Now Now and Present Song Machine. I never ended up picking that one up. My thoughts are, first of all, I wish that they weren't standard black pressings. I wish that they were colored pressings because I think that that would add to the value, even though we already have like these albums. And second, I wish it had just a little more to it because the cover is so last minute it feels like, and there's nothing on the back at all. It's kind of cheaply made because as you guys can see down here, actually nick down there I can feel all the record shift and you can kind of see it be bent inward but then there's a gap at the top and I've seen that this is going for between 159 to 199 at other record stores it just kind of depends on where you're located and where you live and everything the other record store that I used to go to all the time is about an hour and a half away now from me this record store is only eight minutes so for me to drive an hour and a half to get there at a reasonable time to sit and continue to wait is really hard Hard. but I think next record store day where there's a lot of things that I want to pick up I'm going to do that because it's just gonna save me a lot of money in the end I do think this was overpriced at my specific location they did only get three of these box sets and um, they all were sold by the time I left the store so I think I'm gonna leave it sealed because I realistically don't need to open it when I have all those records already. I only own one box set currently so I think that was another pusher as to why I wanted to pick this one up. It was limited to 980 which means that it's probably the <laughs> smallest pressing number that I have in my collection, if that makes sense. There are some really great songs on the albums that are inside of this, and I have been picking up all the record store day releases as far as I can think of. So, eh, did I buy this on impulse? Partially, yes. Was it cheaper than I thought it was gonna be? Yes, but did I still pay more for it? Yes. I wish it had a record store day sticker on it. I wish that it was numbered. I don't want any comments about how I spent my money, but if you guys have any opinions on the box set, I have heard pretty much that people are disappointed in it. Let me know. I do think it's really beneficial for people that don't already have the albums because you could just pick them all up that way in a cool little box. Another thing with my record store, which I have mentioned before, is that they don't like to give out the goodies. <laughs> so typically for record store day, there's like free tote bags, free pins, free CD compilations, there's posters and everything. Mm, the record store that I go to, the posters he charges for. So if you want a poster, you have to pay between five to ten dollars, depending on what the poster is. He doesn't give them out for free. And typically, if he has all the goodie bag stuff, he has it up at the register and you can only pick one thing. So we always pick the tote bags because I reuse them, but then I don't get the badges, I don't get the CDs. Denzel Curry little picture disc. This was $12.99 and it's Denzel Curry and Robert Glasper live from Lemert Park. Just like kind of stuck on the front. It's like a little decal picture disc on the front here. 
and then there's no grooves on this side. All the grooves for both of the songs are on the back. So you're just listening to it off of a clear vinyl versus listening to it off of a picture disc, which can lessen the quality. So really happy that I just discovered that. Looks really cool. Like I mentioned, I have his previous record story release, so I really wanted to get this one as well, just to have them both. I picked up the Queen and Adam Lambert Live Around the World EP. It's a 12 inch vinyl, but what really sold me on this, because y'all know I love to collect my singles. I think they're so cute and I just, I love single records. I realized it came with a Freddie Mercury seven inch vinyl and I had to get it. So this was $25.99, but I don't think that's too terrible considering that it's actually two records. Oh, that's nice. So it's still sealed when you open it out of this plastic. This plastic is just to keep the two together. Yay! I love that packaging. Good job, guys. Good job. I think the cover looks absolutely stunning on this little seven inch. And it's in a sleeve. Love that. Sometimes singles don't come in sleeves. And it is pressed. Oh, and it's an anti-static sleeve. They really went all out with this. Love that. It's a transparent hot pink seven inch record. This is amazing. I am obsessed with this. I think this is worth it right here. This is the main reason why I bought it, which may be so stupid to some people, but now we have this as well, which I don't think this is going to be colored. And it looks like it is pressed on standard black. However, it is also in an anti-static high quality sleep. So they still get props for that. Jaden, uh, Angels and Demons, along with Driver's License, the 12-inch record. This was $16.99, and they only had one. So I got the one and only. <laughs> this, I believe, is pressed on either clear or white vinyl. So we're going to take a look at that. Y'all already know I am a huge sucker for clear vinyl. I absolutely love it. I think it's one of the coolest pressings, and I often think that the sound quality is pretty good on these if they're done the right way. So really excited about this. It's crazy to see the 12 inch vinyl and have this much empty space, but also like look at it, look at my records through it. That's crazy. I love it for that. So had to pick this one up. So they had stuff outside and they had stuff inside. So I first went inside because that's what I usually do. And all they had was the box set and the queen record inside. And then when I asked him at the counter, he told me that this wasn't coming out until Black Friday. And then he told me that they had a bunch of these underneath the tent. So because he told me they had a bunch of these is why I went underneath the tent. And I had so much time to waste because the line was already super long and I had already waited for so long that I just flipped through all the records underneath the tent and I found the only copy that they had of this because I didn't see anybody else pick it up and I don't really think that the demographic for that was there. And then I also asked him about this and he told me the same thing, that it was canceled or that it was pushed to record store day but he didn't get any in and they again had one single copy underneath the tent. So I guess when they only have one copy, they put it underneath the tent instead of having it take up shelf space in the store. Absolutely love the cover of this. I think that she looks so gorgeous. I love that on there. I hate those stickers in real life, but when they're edited on, I think they look really cool. Let's see, moment of truth. A like Coke bottle, translucent, almost glow in the dark effect green. I wonder if this is glow in the dark. I don't think it is. I think it's just the color. Because if it's glow in the dark, we're gonna have a problem. Because that stuff doesn't sound good at all. But this color, I love this. It's the pressing for me. Like, it's the pressing oftentimes that really sells me on a record because I just think it's so pretty. That is everything that I picked up for Record Store Day July 2021. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys got everything that you wanted, what your favorite thing was from this year, and I am happy that I got the Gorillas. I don't want to sound like I'm not grateful or that I wasn't happy to be able to get it. I am. I just wish that for the price point we got a little bit more from it. But now I gotta scan all these into my Discogs. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you guys had an awesome record store day. I will see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.